Hey guys, Nancy Robbins here. Got a little bit of a different kind of a video for you. Um, this is Nancy Robbins Journey and I had a subscriber that requested me to do a video if possible of all the components for my Boston Scientific Spinal Cord Stimulator. So obviously I can't show the system itself but I can show the components so first of all the boxes that come with it this is the remote um, that comes with it you just push in this button on the side to get it to unlock you undo it <coughs> and it's thinking when it gets done thinking it'll go to that um, this is my eighth program now in order to use it you have your main menu button that you push to get to the different things your programs change program I don't ever save anything I don't ever delete anything all I do is switch I push down or up main menu to click on change program don't want to save anything so no i have one two three four five and then my this is my newest one that i got on friday so i don't want to change it so i'll just go back down to there hit menu for select waiting for it to think sometimes you have to have it closer to your where your generator is it's saying that it it's good if you want to turn it up you just push this plus button wait for it to think turn it up or turn it down right now I have mine my, my normal is set at 57 percent um, and in regards to your battery right here is your my indicator for my generator that's implanted right now it has it's supposed to have four bars but it looks like three anyway so when it drops one bar that's when you generally want to charge it um, it comes with a charging cord basically like a cell phone and you plug it in right here to charge it and it'll it'll come on it and say that that's for this one right here um, for the remote itself this is for what's in me um, and then you have the case that comes with it right here I usually put it in this way so I can't accidentally push any buttons you just like that belt clip or however you want to use it so that's that and then to charge the generator that you have implanted oh yeah I forgot to show you also if you need to turn off your stimulator to charge it or to have uh, if you're going through security or something you just push this red button I accidentally shut it off so that's what it looks like when it's shut off just push it to turn it back on and it now says therapy is back on now to charge the system that's in your back or wherever you have it implanted this is where you charge the puck it just sits in there has a cord that's plugged in into your wall this light will turn on when you're ready to charge yourself take it off we're gonna pretend well this is charged but I'm gonna since I don't have it well I can turn it on um <coughs> excuse me when you're getting ready to charge it it's gonna make that beeping sound until it finds where you're supposed to go so once it finds the generator it'll stop beeping so you have two ways that you can put it on your body you can either put it in this pouch like so like that and then it wraps around your body which I'm not real fond of this because mine is lower 
it's not around my waist so you can also use these tabbies that I had to order they're free of charge which are these right here free of charge you just unstick this right here it's sticky put that on here and then unpeel this one and that goes on your body and it sticks fairly well um, a lot of times I'll just put it under my clothes and they help to hold it on now in regards to charging I've only had to charge my remote this I think twice it dropped down one battery uh, level and I've charged it I think twice I've had it for three and a half months my generator um, the first about the first two and a half months I only charged about once a month now that I have a background program along with my burst program I believe that's what they're called I've been charging about once a week so I have timed it and charging once a week it's about two hours because I only let it go down one bar and this right here it only takes a couple of hours to charge once it's done the light will go from red to green and I just set it aside so if you guys have any other questions please let me know and put any comments down below if you like the video please push the like button and think about subscribing to my channel so that'll be it for this time guys thank you very much